Saturday. What's up? Oh man, I'm feeling good today. I got a great night's sleep. I um, got up for my quarantine routine. <laughs> it's our Saturday hike we do with I do with my husband every 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 Saturday since quarantine. We've been getting up and going hiking. So do you guys have any um cool hi Sally? Do you guys have any cool like quarantine routines that you're doing? Um, that's something that we have been doing. It's been really awesome that Saturday morning hike together, just he and I, not the dogs, um, no headphones, just connected conversation. It's been powerful and super cool for us. So we did that today. We got to do it in Boise because I'm in Boise until tomorrow. I have to go back up to uh, Blaine County, Idaho tomorrow, but we've been down here all week and it's been amazing. Hi, Brianne. Good morning. And so um, I just got done doing a live on my girlfriend's Instagram. Her name's Julia Brock, and she's going to be one of our expert feedback featured speakers in my upcoming Pivot for Purpose online series that I'm launching on Monday. So that's coming. If you guys haven't registered, you should. Um, it's about how to reclaim your health during this time, how to pivot during this pandemic, how to reclaim your fitness and your wellness and your mental health as well as your body confidence. So it's a really good series. I pulled about 25 of my favorite interviews I've ever done with, with experts and um, it's going to be powerful. So it's free. It's my give. I like to give. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing called Eat the Frog. Did you see that in my title? Eat the Frog, what am I talking about? <clears throat> Have you guys ever read that book? There's a book out there. I've never actually read the book, Eat the Frog. I've just heard this mentioned, and it's funny because it can be called a bunch of different things. Eating the Frog is an interesting way to talk about it. But a lot of my clients, a lot of people I'm working with right now are having trouble kind of um, managing their schedules. Right? Are you having trouble managing your schedule right now? Because it's just all over the place. If you are, I get it. Um, you're not alone. Believe me, a lot of my clients are, so I'm helping them manage that. But the first thing that I like to talk to a lot of my clients about is eating the frog. So what does that mean? So if you're if you're stuck in a situation where you don't really know how to get through your day, or you're feeling like you get stuck and you just can't um, focus, or you don't want to power through the things that you know are your next best step or your next best option to move you forward or you procrastinate, then this is a really good technique and tool for you to use so that you can really become higher performing in your life. And even if it's your fitness or if it's, you know, your schoolwork or if you're taking online classes or whatever that looks like for you, or even if it's homeschooling with your kids, um, what I like to practice is called eating the frog. Um, and, and the way that that is interpreted is you kind of, you, you do the first thing, the hardest thing, the thing that is really that you come up against a wall with every day that takes the most motivation, that takes the most mental management, that takes the most energy. And you do that first thing in the day and eating the frog first thing in the day actually propels you into creating very, very high performing habits throughout the rest of your day. And so the way that I structure my day, and a lot of people ask me how I structure my day is it's a lot different than how it used to be. But everything still gets to get done, right? Because I eat the frog. <laughs> I don't kiss a frog anymore. <laughs> I've got a prince now. But <laughs> I do eat the frog in the morning. What does that mean? So <clears throat> I know that in my business there are certain things that I need to do um, that will propel my business forward, right? They're the next best thing. They're not the easiest thing, but they're the next best thing. Hi, Allie. Hi, Jennifer. Do you know what I mean? So you know what those are. Like, you know in your day, what are the things that are hard to do? that usually you come up against resistance with, right? Like there's this resistance to it instead of this like pull towards it. Like you retract, you don't want to do it, right? They're the things that are hard some, most of the time. Or the things that take a lot of mental energy or maybe they're the things that you're not naturally gifted at. <clears throat> For me, that's detailed work, like um, managing invoices, managing um, my team, sending out lots of detailed um, data, sending out lots of detailed information to my team or, or to my clients or, you know, things like that that are very detail oriented that take a lot of brain power for me because naturally I'm a good coach. Like I just like, I can coach you through just about anything. Like that's my jam. That's where I sit. That's like fun for me and I, I thrive in it. But the things that are hard for me is sitting down and focusing on writing email content you know, getting those emails out to my community. Um, those are a little harder for me to be honest because I don't focus as well, right? Like most of my stuff is done. Like the way where I thrive is if I'm on stage, put me in front of a camera, I'm cool. But sitting behind a computer and forcing myself to do those things is more challenging for me. So my schedule looks a lot different now. I've talked a lot about how I've been staying in bed with my husband and we've been having these connected morning conversations over coffee. Um, and that's beautiful for us. But what I also have been doing is three times a week, right? I've been eating the frog. 
And so I get up at 5.30 before he's awake. And I go sit in the my office with my computer, and for an hour, hour and a half, I eat the frog, meaning I follow up on all of my emails, do all my detailed content for the week. Um, I do my invoicing. I check in with my team. Um, things like that that are more detailed focus that I have to really focus and concentrate on, I do that and I eat the frog. Right? So that frees up my energy, my mental capacity and energy for the day because I know that those things that are hard for me to tackle, and this might be fitness for you, right? This might be something different for you, um, but for me, that's my frog. And so in the morning, that's when I get it done. So if fitness is something that you have a hard time, you know, fitting into your day or it's something you really want to shift, I suggest that be your frog and you eat it first thing in the morning, right? You get it done, you get it accomplished, and it's done for the day. And it takes up that mental energy and capacity and takes it off your plate. So eating the frog is super important. I have not read the book. There's a book out there called this, but it's just something that I've practiced. So when I have big hurdles in front of me, um, as if I'm right now, I'm writing a huge article for an online magazine that takes a lot of mental capacity because it's very science-based. So I do that in the mornings right now. I'm getting up and I'm doing that first thing and I'm working on that for, I set my timer and I set it for a half an hour and I go, right? I don't look at my phone. I don't open my email. I just write. And it's very science and data driven. So I've got to pull from different websites um, to pull content in. And so that takes a lot of mental energy for me. If I left that till four o'clock in the afternoon, it would never be done. I mean, clearly. So it, your frog is whatever your frog is. I'm not saying that it's anything. I'm going to wave to some people on Instagram because there's a lot of people showing up here. Good morning, guys. So actually, actually after, I think it's afternoon. So I wanted to just share with you, if you're feeling stuck and there's something you really want to overcome, you really want to level up your capacity, you really want to accomplish during this pandemic time, I encourage you to eat the frog and eat it in the morning. Um, and recognize and, and actually look at your life today and see what is it that I'm resisting that I really want to overcome and create during this pandemic? Or, you know, what is it that I'm missing in my in my you know, might be in my business. What is it that I'm missing in my relationships? What is it that I'm missing with my finances, with my health, right? And whatever you're up against a wall with, whatever you're resisting, try to take that on in the morning, right? That resistance can be overcome by eating the frog in the morning, right? It's, it's powerful. So um, I encourage you to look at that this weekend, right? And see what that is. And then maybe set your week up for scheduling yourself early in the morning. Maybe you get up an extra hour early and you eat the frog, but schedule that in so that you get that accomplished. Does that make sense? Is that landing with you guys? Is that powerful for you? It's powerful for me. And it definitely has shifted me and it's gotten a lot, a lot more things taken off my daily to-do list that don't seem as daunting. Um, because if you're, and people are different. Like I am a morning person. I can't, my brain functions really well in the morning and the afternoon. I kind of just want to be in my coaching space and give to people and respond to people. But in the morning I have, a, I want to be very structured and get all my detail oriented work done. So if you're like that, I encourage you to, to figure out what that is this week, what you want to overcome for your week, um, going into Monday and saying, Hey, listen, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up in the morning. I'm going to eat that frog so that it frees up energy and space in my brain and my capacity to do other things. And it doesn't pull me back all day long. Cause sometimes when you have that thing that you're not great at that, but you know, is necessary right in your day or that you're not really looking forward to, it takes up so much mental energy. And a lot of people are like that with their workouts, right? Like they're like, oh, I got to go to the gym after work or oh, I got to go to the gym today. I still haven't gone. And they're thinking about it and it's pulling energy away from, you know, their daily life. So if it's fitness, if it's maybe meal prepping, if it's, you know, if, if it's work related, if it's relationship related, whatever it is, try to do it in the morning this week and see how that shifts your day. All right. Okay, I just wanted to check in with you guys this Saturday. Um, we're doing yard work today. Um, so we got a great hike in this morning, and my husband and I are going to do some yard work down in Boise to get some landscaping here in our place here. It's um, looking a little rough with some weeds. <laughs> and then I'm hoping to still try to get out this evening and enjoy, like, maybe a cruiser bike ride or an easy mountain bike ride around the foothills to enjoy this beautiful weather. So hopefully you guys are outside and enjoying the sunshine and vitamin D because that's very good for you right now, too. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for day 40. Day 40 of me going live every day, bringing you um, some mindset management tools, some health um, tools and tips and tricks and strategies. So, and if you guys haven't registered for my free series, it's starting on Monday. You don't want to miss it. I pulled about 25 of my favorite interviews of all time to bring to you to help you really pivot right now, reclaim your health, reclaim your confidence, reclaim your fitness, and it's all free. So they're best-selling authors, 
doctors, um, nutritionists, fitness experts. It's pretty powerful. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. And if you need the link, let me know. Otherwise, you can go to pivot number four purpose. So pivot purpose.com and register. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be back.